Alright guys, it's uh, Madman Rab here, and since the DLC has just come out today, I'm uh, going to show you a quick way to level up things like your silverback so you can get your turrets quicker, and I'm going to show you how to get the rest of the achievements as well. So, no, uh, if we have a look at the achievements, I've got the majority of them anyway. We need to host a private match for a party of five and horde mode and beast mode, that's self-explanatory, you can just get some friends together and do that. Other ones include get five silverback rockets, so we'll need to upgrade your um, silverback and I'll show you a fast way to get that done later. But first of all I'm going to show you how to um, upgrade your horde command centre and I'll get back to that later on. So if you put in a second controller load up a private horde match. I'm going to do it on insane wave 1 and enable mutators. This is where it's really handy. I've got the majority of mutators so um, the amount of XP you get for leveling up stuff like your turrets and your silverback um, depend on your difficulty and the mutators. I'll break it down in the um, description but basically you want to play on as high a level as you can with hard mutators because that increases the um, percentage as you can see like it's plus 10% for the mutators but super reload is minus 25 and the funds ones don't have any effect so I'm going to pick three hard mutators but make sure one of them is friendly fire you don't need the friendly fire but it makes it go a lot quicker as you'll see later on so there's no ammo pickups and I'll, I don't know, I'll just pick this one and finish select the um, we're going to load up uh, sandbar. You can play the new maps if you want because obviously they're just out, you probably want to play them, but I'm going to do sandbar because it's got for every command center there's like two turrets and like two decoys, there's two of every fortification so you can uh, level them up quicker. So um, this method can be used to get like your turrets and your barriers, your sentries and stuff like that and I'll uh, show you a different method to get your um, silverback up because obviously I'm assuming you need to level up your silverback first before you can unlock the rockets. Okay so the very first thing we're going to do is take your second controller and give the other player some money. Uh, my second controller is very weird at the moment so um, if you see my character slide forward it's not me it just um, does that on its own. And we're going to buy a command center, so I, I either pick the um, the one I'm about to go to, this main one up here, or the one opposite, which is, I think it's now boom shot. It used to be the long, uh, no, not the long shot, the one shot. So I'm going to buy this command post, and I'm going to buy this up here. This is your command center, you need to buy them, and as you see, look at that, that's a big chunk that's just bought there. So um, I'm now going to go back to my first controller, and this is where the friendly fire helps, see if you equip smokes, see if you smoke each other at the exact same time, your characters will get down and you'll end the wave, so it's like 3, 2, 1, press B, I'm out. and as you can see, we both failed the wave, uh, both failed the wave. I, uh, I won't take credit for finding this out, I read it on xbox360achievements.org, I can't remember the exact person that told me, but Thanks for helping us out. Now you can just restart from the beginning. Okay guys, now you know the method to get your hold command center. Doing that once with my chosen difficulty and mutators, I got 1375 out of 40,000. So we'll get that quite quickly. So now I'm going to show you how to get your silverback upgraded so that you can get your silverback rocket kills. So we're going to start a private hold match, as usual, on hardcore difficulty. Wave... I tend to start about wave 6, and yes you can have mutators on. So we don't want to make it too difficult for ourselves, We'd, um, we could do it on insane and stuff like that, but we want to be able to get a lot of money very quickly, so we're doing it on hardcores. What we're going to do is I'm going to pick infinite ammo, um, no ammo pickups, and enemy regeneration, and we can finish there. You can pick whatever mutators you like. Is if you go for an easy mutator, make sure you pick two hard ones, so to balance out. Uh, 
I did say I'll, I'll put in the description how it all breaks down, but right now I'm going to get 95% of all the XP I put into my silverback. So for every thousand I put into my silverback, I'm going to get 950 put towards the um, upgrade. So for this one I'm going to pick, where is it, Old Town, I'm going to pick Old Town, and I'm going to pick the one. So you can do this on your split screen, if you want to get like your... Um, like founder ribbon and stuff like that, you can do a split screen, but I've already got my founder ribbon. I'm just going to do it myself. The only difference, to be honest, is the 1000 extra that your split screen can give you at the very beginning. So, um, the method we're going to do here is we're going to complete wave 6, 7 and 8. And you're going to have enough money by then to buy a silverback. Basically what you're going to do on wave 9 is you're going to get in your silverback, kill as many enemies as possible and but do not finish the wave. Just basically um, get as many points as you can in the silverback, die at the end, deliberately die and then you can repair your silverback um, and then rebuy it. If you don't know where the silverback respawns it's just in the middle there, you can just see it behind the wall, there we go. And that, that's the plan, so obviously you don't need to see me complete wave 6, 7 and 8, so I'll just skip forward to where I have the silver back. Alright guys, as you can see I'm on wave 7, I uh, and had enough money to buy a silver back. I died quite a lot, but it doesn't matter, I just restarted for current wave and I was able to buy a silver back. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stay around about this area and get kills, I'm going to complete wave 7 and 8 and then deliberately fail at the end of wave 9. You should have enough money um, to up, like, you know, rebuild your uh, silver back and stuff if it um, gets damaged. Basically that's the tactic. It might take you a wee while to get a silver back, but trust me your silver back will get so many kills that you'll get the money so easily. And if, it, yeah, if you actually um, run out of money and your silver back's destroyed then it'll just take a few um, waves and stuff and stuff to get enough money to rebuy it just using your lancer again. So um, yeah this is how you get this done very quickly and when you get the rockets um, I'm assuming that's the next level too you can just buy um, yeah when you've got your rockets you can do this to get a silver back do it on uh, casual if you like and then just keep getting what's the 500 kills you need so you can get that done no problem. So next we're going to move on to the final achievement that we need to get Ok guys, now I've covered most of the DLC achievements, the only one I haven't covered is defeat a boss wave, it's 5 on its cards. The reason I left this to the end because I actually misread it the first time and I thought it was a lot harder than it is. But it's very very simple. Basically if you back out to your main menu and change your default character to a non-X card, um, if you invite 4 friends into a private hold match, there will be 5 on X cards. So um, yeah, host a private match on Hardcore, Wave 10 and... You can just pick easy mutators. Mutators haven't affected any other achievements, so I don't see why they would start doing it now. So if you start the match um, in my insane hold video, which, wow, that was almost a month ago, uh, we all just camped at the top of trenches. The exact same method would work here, it's a boss wave. So, yeah, just load up trenches with your five teammates and you'll get that. So that's um, all the hold DLC covered, as well as boosting hold fortifications on Sandbar. So guys, if you liked this video, please um, thumbs up and subscribe to me for more videos. Um, I feel quite bad for saying that because my last video was like a month ago and I really do apologise for that. To be honest, it's just been me a wee bit lazy and also I've been boosting the, um, the medals. So I'm going to start um, getting more videos uploaded because as you can see I've got 28 medals here. And the next video that I'll get posted is... Where are we? It's the beast. Yeah, complete beast mode without feeling on insane. Um, me and my friends did it, what, second attempt? It was really, it was actually so easy compared to what we thought it would be. So yeah, I'll definitely get that video uploaded and any others that you see here and you don't want. So if you want a specific Onyx Medal video guide, um, just leave a, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks for watching us guys. Till next time, it's my run up. See you later.